your forecast first. Sponsored by Natax Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. It's been a cloudy Monday across central Illinois, and we are calling for more clouds for the day tomorrow with the added chance of rain showers. Right now, a lot of our temperatures remain in the upper 30s and low 40s. 39 in Springfield, 40 in Lincoln, 38 in Decatur, Taylorville, Bloomington, 39 in Danville, and 40 in Champaign. Overlooking the State Farm Center on our Roofing Dog Inet and our Adams Memorial weather camera there. You see the cloud cover. We're expecting that to continue overnight tonight. Maybe a little bit of some clearing, but overall, though, a cloudy trend for a lot of this week. Winds are very light, which is nice, but we're calling for mainly cloudy skies overnight tonight with a little bit of clearing, more clouds for the day tomorrow, and then the second half of our Tuesday should have the chance for some rain showers. WCIA 3 News starts right now. Now on WCIA 3 News. Cases of coronavirus continue to climb in Illinois. How the government and private sector are teaming up to keep people on the front lines, medical experts safe. Don't know what's going to happen next. Don't know where money's going to come from. Tens of thousands of workers across Illinois have been temporarily put out of work. How just filing for unemployment has become a problem. There's a lot of good people here and always doing a lot of good things. And many are pitching in and doing what they can to help fight coronavirus. How a house for sale is helping the cause. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. I have medical professionals and first responders begging for things that they need to keep them safe. Illinois is ramping up a statewide effort to make and manufacture masks and ventilators to prepare for a surge of patients sick with coronavirus. Good evening. I'm Paul Cicchini. State health officials reported more COVID-19 deaths and over 230 new cases of coronavirus in their daily news briefing today, bringing the total lives lost in Illinois to 12. Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield tonight. So, Mark, Governor Pritzker is pleading with President Trump for help from the federal government. Paul, that's correct. Good evening. We just heard from the president a few moments ago uh, with some response to uh, Governor Pritzker today. But again, Governor Pritzker is coordinating now a statewide effort pushing uh, for for private enterprises, for companies, for nonprofits, for everyone in Illinois to really uh, pitch in here to come up with enough personal protective equipment or PPE to help protect those frontline medical experts, the doctors and nurses who are uh, trying to treat patients uh, on the front lines of this battle against the coronavirus. The governor is also pushing the president to organize a similar effort at the national level since so many states need various amounts of help. And since so far, Governor Pritzker says the feds have fallen short of fulfilling our request for supplies in Illinois. I reached out to the President of the United States. He returned my call uh, a little afternoon, and I spoke with him directly about our need for N95 masks and for ventilators, and he said, let me work on that. And so I really thought, you know, it seems like he's being very responsive uh, to what I asked for, and I hope that we'll be able to receive those items in relatively short order. Again, just moments ago, uh, President Trump and Vice President Pence pledging that help uh, will be coming shortly uh, to states like Illinois. In the meantime, Governor Pritzker is still calling on tattoo parlors, on elective surgery centers, nail salons even, any place that might have some of those special N95 or those medical masks uh, in stock. They're asking for them to donate those to the state so they can have a stockpile ready to distribute them to those doctors and nurses on the front lines. Uh, already hundreds of thousands of masks are flooding in from all corners of the state, private sector, uh, companies in Illinois jumping to offer whatever assistance they can. Today, Dr. Uh, Izike, the director of, of uh, D the Department of Public Health, said that we're seeing roughly one in five patients in Illinois who comes down with the coronavirus needing some sort of hospitalization, and about 5% of them overall are going to intensive care. So again, as the cases continue to climb, keep that rate in mind. That's the kind of pace, that's the kind of surge the state is trying to stay out in front of, so that way uh, they don't become overwhelmed by this uh, influx of patients. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, WCI3, your local news leader. Still a daunting number, Mark. Thanks. The Illinois Department of Public Health says there are 237 new cases of coronavirus. That included three deaths in Cook County, two men in their 80s, and one in his 90s were the victims. There are now almost 1,300 cases in the state. There are cases in 31 counties. McLean has seven cases, Sangamon five, and Champaign has 
3. That update from Champaign just coming in late this afternoon. Thousands of people in Illinois are out of work after coronavirus precautions forced businesses to shut down. That means many are filing for unemployment and searching for jobs. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting spoke to one man who has been on unemployment for about a year and he's nearing the end of his benefits. Don't know what's going to happen next. Don't know where money's going to come from. Sean Talbot is counting down the days with dread until his unemployment checks stop coming. I'm due to run out in two weeks. So, I mean, got to find something. The truck driver of 19 years has been out of work for a knee injury. But as soon as he tried to go back in September, he was laid off. And I've been on unemployment, looking for a job, just trying to find something to make ends meet. 26 weeks is the length that you're allowed on unemployment. I'm having troubles finding openings and uh, there's, uh, there's just not a lot of work. Talbot says he has questions about how to get an extension to his unemployment, but he hasn't been able to get a hold of anyone at the office to get those answers. I'd like to see that the unemployment get extended for those that are on it. Uh, just for a simple fact is, is you're not going to find a job. Uh, something needs to be done and it needs to be done now. But there is some hope out there. Cody Alterman works for Express Employment in Champaign, a business that helps people find jobs. He says some industries are booming. A lot of our clients are large-scale manufacturers, and the products that they produce are currently in a high demand, whether it's supplying for medical industry or any type of uh, you know, bottling or containers for you know, different uh, types of soaps and hand sanitizers that are being used right now. So they're seeing a spike in business. Whether that will benefit people like Talbot, time will tell. His biggest concern at the moment is just making ends meet. Right now, it's just very hard. That was Courtney Bunting reporting. We have more information about ways to get in touch with Express Employment at WCIA.com. While the governor continues his efforts to try and get a handle on coronavirus in Illinois, he's also involved, as Mark mentioned, with a war of war, any war of words with the president on Twitter. It was an escalating Twitter tussle Sunday. J.B. Pritzker compared Donald Trump to, quote, the carnival barkers that are tweeting from the cheap seats. Pritzker was responding to a critical tweet from Trump who said the governor quote, and a very small group of certain other governors shouldn't be blaming the federal government for their own shortcomings. Congressman Rodney Davis, who appeared on WCIA 3 this morning, said now is not the time for fighting, especially on social media. Well, let's not send tweets out with profanity uh, just because you think it's cute. Uh, this is serious business right now, and I know the governor's new. Uh, we've been through many disasters with different presidents uh, in my time in Congress, and it's, it's time we work together. Pritzker also said the president, quote, should be leading a national response instead of throwing tantrums from the back seat. Many are staying away from flying these days. At least one employee at the Peoria Airport Air Traffic Control Center tested positive for COVID-19. Despite that, the tower remains in normal operations. Several flights to and from Chicago were canceled yesterday. The air traffic control tower, air facility rather, at Chicago's Midway Airport is closed for cleaning after a worker tested positive there last week. A veterinarian in Urbana is stepping up to help area hospitals. Susan Norris owns Good Friends Animal Hospital. She's collecting donations at her office on East Main Street. People can bring any medical equipment they have, including gloves and masks. They'll all be taken to nearby hospitals. It's hard to find anything positive during the COVID-19 pandemic. Why, one of those might just be at the pump. Also tonight. If we could find a best use for it um, within the community for people who really need it, um, we'd love to do that. It's a house they were set to put up for sale. How it's now being used for those fighting coronavirus. It was a cloudy day across the area with uh, cool temperatures in the low 40s, about 10 degrees cooler than average. In fact, as you see there, we should only be around 54. Coming up, we are calling for more in the way of rain showers. There are only a few sunny days this week, but at least it's warmer. We'll have all that coming up next.